Today, we are reviewing Fruity Crisp Oreos. I guess maybe the uh, folks at Fruity Pebbles just wanted too much to use that word or those words or that likeness, but how cool would it have been? Would have been a real cool. Yeah, I don't know. They just probably had a calculator and figured it wasn't worth it. <laughs> By the way, I'm Greg. He's cute. Together with Mr. Happy 0121. And today, for like the 30th time, we're going to review some Oreos. Yep. Gonna review some Oreos. We're gonna put that playlist right here. If you like seeing us, if you literally wanna see us eat Oreos and Oreo products for like three hours, the list keeps getting longer. Now I know that the blueberry, blueberry pie, I think, is out. We actually searched for that. If you saw our vlog, you know that we were unsuccessful. At this point, we may have just moved on from even worrying about it. We're just gonna concentrate on these. Have a smell. Smells fruity. It smells like fruity pebbles. That's one instance. There's one time I'm gonna say it. Oops, a lot of, a lot of stuff in this one. We're gonna get you guys a close up. You see the little bits of whatever that is supposed to be? <clears throat> fruity pebble. In this case, we did something different. I actually had these cookies before the review. I, I had an extra pack. And before I sit down to do this, I had him try them as well. We'll get into the reason for that in a moment. Here comes bite one. Bite two. Trace. Now, simply the frosting. You can tell my compatriot hasn't done very much just frosting through the years. It's very important for this particular brand of Oreo that we're going to do just stayed, the frosting. You stayed intact. Oh, yeah. I'm skilled. Oh. Notice it's crunchy. And now, sir, your grade. An 87. It was pretty awesome, pretty all right. Which, it's crunchy, too. That's like the only thing I can really point at that's really awesome. And it tastes, it tastes just like Fruity Pebbles. So an 87, that's, that's all I got. I'm going to go very different than him. Now, I'm all over the place on the gimmick Oreos. Some really low. Some really high, like the Limeade. To this day, to my mind, is superior to an Oreo. One of the best ever, and I wasn't expecting it. This isn't quite in that class, but it's pretty close. I was really just expecting, like, some fruity rice or some colorful rice in the middle of this. They do two or three things here that's really important. When you open the package, it smells just like you've opened up a bag or a box of fruity pebbles. Next... And the reason I had him try extra cookies is the first couple cookies I ate, it took me a minute to get it. It does taste like Fruity Pebbles. There is a crunch in the middle. That's why we took the frosting out. I don't even want to know what these things were in the middle because I highly doubt that Rice Crisp would hold together and be that crunchy for that long in that material. I'm going to go 93. And I will say... Especially when you try it with just the frosting, for this one time, the cookie actually adds a dimension to the flavor that makes it taste more like Fruity Pebbles. Just like, the frosting yeah, doesn't. Yeah, it adds like a vanilla uh, or milk flavor. Like a milk, yeah, yeah, like a milk flavor. So the cookie actually served a purpose in this case. So in 93 and in 87. Now, don't forget to check out us eating <laughs> friggin' every Oreo. Fruit Punch was another good one that no one expected. They should make bacon-flavored Oreos. Have they done that? If they do, we thought of it first. Trademarked here. Give us our money. Now, before we go, you don't even know about this. No. We're going to do something here that we don't think we've ever done. We're going to do a shout-out correction today. As I was going down the list of names, the next name on the big list was Mandy Mendez. Looking at Mandy's uh, information, getting ready to do her shout-out, what pops up is the name... In a profile picture. Looking at her picture, I go, she's standing next to some dude that looks familiar. Well, she was standing next to Andrew Mendez. Andrew Mendez, who we just shouted out as Whoa. Andrew Menendez. Oh, that's funny. So we did like three minutes on him being Andrew Menendez. Was he related to the guys that murdered their parents? When that wasn't even his damn name. It's embarrassing. 
Not really. Gave us something to talk yeah. about for three yeah. minutes. Anytime we can get three minutes out of something much like this, it's worth it. So Mandy and Andrew, or I guess maybe like your friends would call you Mandrew. Mandrew. Mandrew Mendez, thank you very much. Thank you to both of you. And Andrew, without even meaning to, Mandy got you on a second day and she got us to get your name right. I hope. Yeah. Q didn't even get a shout out in. Do you want to shout out anybody like Abe Lincoln or something? Nothing on the list. Anybody? Yeah. What do you got? Who do you want to shout out? Give me a minute here. You want to thank the Lord? I want to thank the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, oh Lord. Awesome. Feels like every basketball game I've ever watched now. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. We're going to do some odd things in the coming weeks. There's some cool stuff coming out in grocery stores. I'm going to hunt down those uh, Key Lime Twinkies that I've been hearing so much about, the Ghostbuster Twinkies. Oh. I want to get on in on that. Would like to take a shot at those Ecto Coolers from uh, High C before they're all gone, before they go back in the vault for another 20 years until somebody reboots Ghostbusters again. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know if there's something out there in the grocery stores you want to see us review. Don't worry, we'll get to the fast food too. As always, you can find us on all social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook. Got them all. Wow. Just search for Mr. Happy 0121. Stay vigilant.